Good morning, we are in Colorado and we have been here for a couple days and so we're visiting with Michael's great uncle and just relaxing, having some fun, enjoying the views and doing a little bit of hiking. So I thought today I'd take you in on a full day of what we're doing. So just kind of what we're eating. We're gonna go explore the mountains today. I thought I would take you around and just give some tips and tricks for like healthy lifestyle on vacation or AKA staycation. And just, just a disclaimer, I'm a fun dietitian. I like to have ice cream and cake and fun things in my diet, but I also like to have a good balance. And that's what I really, really wanna teach to you guys and my clients. So without further ado, let's get started. So we are cooking breakfast today and we decided we're gonna make waffles since his uncle has a waffle maker. I haven't ever made a waffle at home. So I really like the Kodiak cakes. It's got a little more protein. It's got more fiber. It's good, okay. And then we're gonna do some hash browns. What are you wanting today, babe? Bacon. You want bacon, of course. <laughs> so we've got bacon going on. We're probably gonna eat different things, but that's why we went to the grocery store and stocked up on some goods. So Michael will do bacon, hash browns, and eggs, and a waffle, and then I will probably do a waffle and a Siggy yogurt, and probably a piece of fruit because I need some carbs. Or maybe I'll have some of these. So let's get cooking. We got this cooking. Hash brown. So we found the waffle maker he has, so we're gonna kind of dust this off and use this to make waffles for everyone here. Super excited. Then we have bacon, eggs, ciggies, and then he, uncle might want some sausage. We have turkey sausage. We can't wait for these. So I'm trying out one of the waffles and I added some chocolate chips, cause duh. And since we don't have syrup, and I didn't really want syrup anyway, There's I added syrup. a little bit of, oh, there is syrup? Yes, yeah, Okay, fridge. well, I'm fine. So I added a little bit of this Nuts More cookie butter on top, and it's really good. I'm also gonna have a little bit of bacon. We decided to mix the eggs, because we already have a lot of other food. Fresh browns looking good. I'm gonna have this now. So, some hash browns, a waffle, a yogurt, and some bacon. It's a pretty big breakfast, but it's gonna sustain us because we got a lot going on today. Look at that. This one's for my uncle. This is for uncle. We we're putting together his breakfast. I'm trying to feed him good. He requested half huckleberry, half syrup. Half huckleberry, half maple syrup. Just got my little easy thing over here. Oh, the hash browns ready? Yes. Yum. I'm gonna definitely get some of those. And then check his sausage, please. Okay. And then he doesn't eat bacon, but he does eat chicken sausage. I think these are good. I think so. We'll put that on his plate. All righty. We are hitting the gym. We took a shower earlier today just because we were feeling, we we just wanted to get freshened up and yes, we're gonna work out and we're gonna go on a hike, but we're gonna eat lunch in between there. So here's the plan today. So we are gonna do a mosh posh of shoulders, triceps and chest. He's gonna do more chest than I do. I don't really lift chest. So I'm gonna do a lot more shoulder heavy stuff for me in triceps since we did back and biceps yesterday but we're just gonna probably get 30 minutes or less kind of workout, do some big compound lifts and knock it out. So I'll show y'all everything. So yeah, you ready? So here's the equipment we have available to us. We're pretty lucky to have this. I'm sure any hotel gym would have some similar equipment. And then we have, we brought our power, we brought our power blocks and then we have a bench that we're gonna use as well. And your super setting? Yep. Super setting with and rotate and do triceps. Nice. Uh, 
so we're doing a superset. I'm gonna skip the chest and just do the triceps. So for my superset, I'm gonna do a chest or a tricep press supersetted by skull crushers. So I like to do supersets, especially if you are short on time or wanting to get an extra calorie burn. Supersets are like the weights version of cardio. So you do two different exercises back to back and it helps burn out that muscle a little bit more and helps you make your workout go a lot faster. So that's what Michael did is he did a chest press and then a tricep press. I don't do chest, so I'm gonna do the triceps back to back. How's that feeling? It hurts. Hurts so good. I gotta muscle up. Two more. Muscle up. One more. That sucked. Nice. How's my form? Good. Isolating those triceps through a tricep push up. Even if you're modifying it by being on your knees, you can't tell from this angle, so that's all that matters. This is a brutal one. And then superset it with tricep dips as many as you can good job so for our last set we're gonna do a tricep focusing on the shoulders so Again, with the superset and the triceps, it helps us get more pump in in a shorter amount of time while also getting your heart rate up, kind of like a cardio effect. Really great for fat burning, but it is more of an intermediate to advanced style of lifting. So if you are a beginner, I'd recommend just doing these, all of these exercises individually, not back to back until you've built enough strength. So the first move that we're going to do is here, is the shoulder press followed by side raises. And then we're going to get, we're gonna hit those rear delts. So you want your arms up like this, shoulders back, and squeeze those shoulder blades. We're gonna do those back to back, as many as we can, about five to 10 of each move, three times through. Whew. So we're going to go eat lunch. I'll show you that and then we're going to go hike a mountain and we're going to take you there too. So to get some fun movement in and then maybe some ice cream later because we like ice cream. Sounds so cool. So we just had a great workout and we're going to make lunch. So we're not really eating out a whole lot this visit just because we're wanting to save money and with coronavirus we're just trying to not go out every single day. So I'm feeling some avocado toast for lunch with eggs, avocados. Michael and I will probably share this apple and then I'm gonna do one piece of bread and then one GG cracker. And then Michael, you're gonna do a bratwurst, right? And he's gonna eat a bratwurst and wrap it in the in this multi-grain bread that we found. It looks really nice. Whole grain, good fiber. It has three grams of fiber, four grams protein. It's a really solid slice of bread here. So that's what we're going to do. And then Michael, are we going out to the mountains today? We're going to do it pretty much eat and then go is yeah. how we're going to do that. So we're going to take you with us. We're so excited. So that's what we're doing. 
is how my lunch is looking. I've got two eggs, some av um, avocado on the toast, and some apples. Off to Vail. Look how cute this village is. Oh my gosh. So this is Vale Village. How freaking cute. So where are we going, boo? Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys. Huh? So pretty here. You excited? Mm hmm. How excited? I have to find a restroom. Are you annoyed? Yes. How annoyed? 10. All right. So, this is our, the hiking map of where we want to go. So, Michael, what, where were you saying you wanted to do? Well, we're just going to go up. So, we're going to do this to the Strawberry Lane Vein yeah, Village. Vale Village. Down. I'll come down that way because we're not looking to get like a huge long hike in. We're not, we're still newbies with hikes because we don't, we live in Texas. So, we hike when we can, but it's not consistent. And here's all this. We have our masks on and we're trying to stay safe. So yeah, we're going to get started. It's so beautiful here. It's so peaceful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Whew. So we decided to do kind of like a medium hike which is pretty much hard for us already hard <laughs> so we're gonna try it out and see oh this guy is getting it with his mountain bike oh babe i'm about to fall a lot of glute strength you need in this one yeah, for real I might not even have to do leg workout this week. Okay. Whew, my booty. So we did bring water and we brought some snacks with us because we'll likely need some fuel to keep us going. Are you already out of breath? Of course I am. Uh, okay, I'll show you when we get to something pretty. So we made it up here, some mountain bikers. It's really peaceful. This is where we're heading. We're gonna head up this hill here. Strawberry Lane. We're about a fourth of, we're about halfway up, Maybe. I'd say. Whew, might need a water. We're going to the top, baby. <laughs> Let's go. He's crazy. He has way better endurance cardio wise than I do. 
this is really hard for me because cardio is like is hard I'm more of a strength trainer so this is helpful very beautiful Put some water yeah this is hard but it sure is worth it so we could have taken the ski lift to go up the mountain but we found out it was $44 a person and we were like, hell no, we'll just walk up the mountain and we're getting exercise. Regret. We're regretting it a little bit. But hey, we're not pro <laughs> We're not pros at this. This is different than what we normally do on a daily basis. So But it's so nice. That's Vale Village. Yep. Whew. My heart is up to like 160 beats per minute right now. This is very steep. Dead. So we're going to go up? Yep. Yeah. Here's this. Let's do it. Down to Vale Village. And this is normally a ski run that I would do a lot in the winter. Now it's just a grassy hill. It's crazy. I've never done this before where I've hiked a ski run. So it's pretty cool to this see that. In the summer, yeah. Yeah. This is a first. And it's one of many. One of many. Hiking our way through. Making our way up the hill. Walking <laughs> slow. <laughs> panting fast. And we're veil bound. Da na 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 na. Did you make a wish? Yes. You're supposed to eat it, you know? No, I'm not gonna do that. Have you seen the videos where they hold it, they okay, blow, and then when they go to blow, they put it in their mouth? <laughs> okay, so we did the hike, we came out there. This is the view. And now we're taking just an access road back down to the base because the rest of the trail is there and it continues further up the mountain and we'd be tired. Okay, we started down here. We took this trail up and all the way up to here. We came mm. down and then hopped back on the trail back down. Yeah. We're tired. We've gone about an hour. A little so, more than that. Yeah. Almost there though. We're gonna go make, we're gonna go to the grocery store. We're gonna get some ice cream and then we're gonna go back home and make dinner for all of us and have some wine. It's gonna be a nice night. It's been great. We've been having like wine every night. We've been doing home cooked dinners. Watching the hummingbirds. Watching the hummingbirds. We get in the hot tub every night. It's been so relaxing. We feel like we're at a resort and it's affordable <laughs> for us at least. So yeah. Oh yeah, you know where we're going gonna get some ice cream ice cream is one of my favorite 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 treats what you say Michael yes and it's a non-negotiable for me so you like, were mad when I said maybe we won't get ice cream <laughs> you can't cheese me like this Oreos. What are you feeling, dude? Are you taking my order? What are you feeling? I don't know. Okay. I'll order one second. That's it. Yummy. Thank you. We are back. We came back after ice cream. So the ice cream 
My camera died right at the moment that she got the ice cream to me, so you saw that deliciousness ate all of it. It was great. And you know what? We're gonna fit it in, okay? So now we're looking at a little bottle of wine, and we're gonna cook dinner here soon, because I'm hungry. Are you? I could eat. I'm hungry. I'm just gonna get started. So I like to cook and drink wine at the same time. And I'll show you what we're doing. Michael, would you wanna explain what the wine is? Uh, the wine is from Dobbs uh, Family Estate uh, in uh, Oregon, Willamette mm -hmm. Valley, mm -hmm. and this is one of their Pinot Noirs. Nice. We really enjoy wine. So I was going to make some whole wheat pasta tonight. I'm going to use Prego. I'm going to do a meat sauce. I already have some olive oil in there. I'm going to do ground turkey. So I'm going to do ground turkey here. And then I'm, I'm going to saute. I'm going to add some spinach because we need some phytonutrients. And then we need, oh yeah, here we go. This is Parmesan cheese and chopped onion, chopped onion and garlic. So we're gonna try to heat up some of this bread too because we just really wanna have a yummy meal for dinner. So we've got our wine. We're probably gonna have one or two glasses. I'm gonna do a really nice portion of um, this whole wheat pasta. So this is from HEB, obviously we brought this. So I'm gonna do probably a serving, which is 200 calories, a serving of uh, the turkey here and maybe a little bit of bread why not you know we're on vacation and so I have some onion and garlic sauteing here now I'm getting the pot ready for the get everything all together we're good yep, yep. it's gonna be delicious crushing it crushing it yummy and I added some Parmesan cheese because I'm feeling really fun this time We've got some sourdough bread and we're gonna put a little butter. And then we got the pasta. It looks good. Mm -hmm. So this is our dinner tonight. I solved that like 30 years ago. <laughs> and I haven't done like one more pair on it. Looks good. As you could see while I was editing the video, my closing statement, I accidentally filmed it on the time warp setting. So it went really fast and I don't really know how to fix that. But basically I was just closing out the video, just saying peace and thank you so much for watching along. If you love this kind of content, please give me a like, a comment below and subscribe to my channel. If there's anything else that you wanna see, be sure to let me know and I will be putting more awesome content like this in the future. Thanks so much and I hope you have a great rest of your day.